Hello everyone. Uh, this is T set is A B C D and welcome to another Katan video here on Colonist.io. So yeah, as I've said in a few videos before, I was on a two-week break and I had pre-recorded quite a lot of games. Uh, and this is my very first recording in almost two weeks. So I might be a little rusty, but um, hopefully I can win the game. Uh, before starting this game, I did take a look at the rankings. I think I am in mid 400s with my ELO Bay being around uh, 1700 something. So still quite some way to go uh, for my for me to get to top 100. But if I win a few games, I think uh, it is quite doable. Anyway, so let's take a look at the board. I am in the fourth position. So based on that, I don't think I'll be getting any good over spots on this board, especially because eight is the only decent over available. Eleven and twelve are just whatever. Also, not a lot of bricks. So I think it is going to be a difficult game for me. So yeah, something like eight, five, ten, six, nine, ten. Will, yeah, so yeah, 8, 5, 10 is gone. I think 6, 9, 10 will also be picked up by somebody. Or maybe 6, 4, 3. Yeah, so 6, 9, 10 is gone as well. And now I think uh, black might go for 6, 4, 3 here. So... Maybe I can get... Something like uh, 5, 9, 10 and pair it up with 3, 4, 11. Try and get to the wood port and the brick port. Although my numbers aren't great, but I think this is going to be a very difficult game for me if I don't go for that setup. So as expected, uh, black does go for 6, 3, 4 here. Yeah, I'm also considering something like 4, 5, 11, 9, 4, 11. Yeah, but then yeah, I'm not sure what would be strong here. I think I just have to go for 9, 5, 10. And then maybe I can pair it up with... 6, 3, 11. But then anybody who goes for 4, 3, 11 will surely be able to cut me off. And that might not be good for my setup. The other option that I have is just going for 8, 3 and 8, 10. But that seems a little too risky. Too dependent on 8s rolling early on in the game. Yeah. So I think just going for 9, 5, 10, pointing my road upwards makes some sense here. And um, yeah, I think I'll just go for that. The only reason why I'm hesitating is because the numbers like 3, 11, 4, 10, do not give me a lot of confidence in my setup. And my expansion spots are even worse. Like I get 11, 12 and 5, 2. So that isn't going to help me in any way. But at this point, I'm running out of time. So for my first settlement, I'll surely go for 9, 5, 10. The reason I'm pointing my road upwards is so that I can go towards the 3 to 1 port. And now... Instead of 3, 4, 11, I can actually go for 5, 4, 11 as well. Or maybe I can just go for 8, 3 here. I don't think 8, 3 is a bad uh, spot. Yeah, so now it's basically a toss up between 
five four eleven and uh, eight three six three twelve is also a choice that I have, but then I'm pretty sure I will not be able to get to the wood port in that case. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I am considering 8.3 here. And I think in the end, I might just go for that. It's a little risky, but surely better than 3.4.11, I think. 3.4.11 would have given me access to the brick port as well, along with the wood port. But still, I just don't like the numbers there. Maybe in, if I had thought about 8.3 earlier, I should have gone for 8.3 as my first placement and 5.9.10 as my second placement. Wow, blue goes for 8-4. That is really surprising here. Especially because this gives access to red. Like now red can basically go for 3-4-11, get a settlement on 6-3-12 and 11-12. And they will have a very, very strong uh, wood production. Wow, this is really surprising. Like, um, blue, although is quite dependent on force, but then I think blue has the blue and both, even black, both of them have quite a lot of expansion spots available. And black doesn't even go for 942. That is also a little confusing to me for sure. But at this point, I think just targeting black could be a fine choice. Here, the only reason why I'm targeting red is because red has some wheat in hand. Unfortunately, I'm not able to pull it all because of all those tens. Uh, let's see if I can get any trade. Yeah, red asking for a 2 is to 1 is not going to happen here. So, yeah, maybe I'll just hold on to these cards for now. Uh, my numbers aren't repeating, so I'm not worried about going over 7 just yet. Yeah, maybe the four block would have been better. I was considering that for sure. I believe while I was gone, there was an update where bots won't be trading in ranked game. I actually like it. Yeah. So eights are excellent for red, uh, giving them an option of an early city. So far, red has been a little lucky with the rules, uh, getting 8s and 10s. Here, I can get a city. Let me try to get a trade first. If not, I think I'll just uh, get a city early on. Although 9s haven't rolled, but I think just Getting a city this early in the game would be pretty strong for me. And the reason why I'm getting a city on 9-5-10 is because uh, I believe the 8 ore might be targeted a little, but getting 5 wood would be pretty good. Your red might be able to get a city as well because 8 did roll a few times. 
yeah and red does get the city as expected so finally a nine does roll here i cannot do much with that 12 there Bot rolls a seven here. Bot might steal from me. Yeah, does steal from me. Unfortunately, steals my ore. That's a little unlucky for me. I would surely say that. But uh, yeah, this is a trade that I have to go for. I believe. And yeah, because the eight is blocked, there is not much that I can do. that said i think let me try and get another trade here if not i will still convert all my wheat into a actually i'll just hold on to these cards i think i'll build a road and end my turn i would like to get a settlement on 942 that way i can that way i will have some brick production yeah red roll the seven red will most likely block the nine wheat and steal from me just because i have a city here most likely i am okay targets black i don't mind that at all so i would love to roll a 7 myself Instead, I roll a six here, and I don't think there is anything that I can do, so I just end my turn. I am a little worried uh, because I don't want black to cut me off, but it's not like I have much of a choice here. black rolls another 7 and most likely continues to target the red yeah luckily black isn't going towards the 942 spot that is good for me but uh, yeah these rolls aren't that great not getting any trades here so yeah i'll just end my turn yeah so these eights are actually pretty good but unfortunately it's been blocked and i think at this point eight seems a little better for uh, red than for me and yeah so there isn't enough wheat in the bank wow red accepts it okay it doesn't accept it so yeah i'll just end my turn i don't think i was able to get any resource in that round Here, red should be blocking the six wheat or the nine wheat, and target has to target black. I think yeah, has to target me because black doesn't have any cards. Yeah, yeah. Surely looking for either a sheep or a brick. This doesn't like 
the wood doesn't do anything for me unless I get a two is to one. In that case, I can do a four is to one. I think I just have to target uh, black here just because black has brick and ore. So now let's see if I can get a trade. I might even offer a 1 is to 2 here. Or maybe I can get a trade like this. This way I can do a 3 is to 1. Red is the only one who can accept it. Uh, yeah, 2 is to 1 doesn't work for me either. I think 1 is to 1 is the only option. And if not, I'll just end my turn. Yeah, there isn't much that I can do, but... Uh, I don't understand. I mean, actually, blue is being played by a bot, so that's why it's these random roads are fine. Here, let's see if I can get a one is to two. Yeah, I, actually, I wouldn't want to do that. That would put me over seven cards. And finally, a ten does roll, so that's pretty good for me. And so I'll just go for a settlement and a dev card. That I think was a perfect 10 for me at that point. And my next target would be to get a city on 8-3. Just because 8s have been rolling quite a bit. Red here has two dev cards. Not sure what black means when he says GG, I think. Black also is in a quite a strong position. I think black is the only contender for the longest road. And once he gets a city, uh, he is also in a quite a strong position now. At this point, I think I'll just do another four is to one, sorry, three is to one and go for another dev card. I surely need to secure the largest army. Red rolls the 7. Red already has 3 dev cards in hand. The only good part is red is targeting black and not me. At this point, I cannot do much. I can play my knight. I don't think so. I need to play an aggressive knight here. So yeah, I mean, both red and black seem very scary at this point. I think red will be able to get another dev card. Or maybe red has a monopoly. Uh, the amount of time he spent thinking about buying a dev card, I believe red has a monopoly here. Wow, the bot is still targeting black, which is a little unfortunate. But here I think I'll have to just play my knight. And target red at this point. I get ore which is completely fine. So my best case scenario is just to go for another dev card. I would want to get knights and keep a lead over red. Because with every turn I mean red will be able to get dev cards as well. I hope 
hopefully i can get a monopoly that way i can play a very strong monopoly on wheat i believe if a 8 and a 6 is rolled I have more than seven cards, so I will lose out on a few. I do get cheap, so that is fine. And here, I do think that black is correct. I do need to stay ahead of red. But it's not in my favor here. Yeah, but then red will still be able to get another dev card and just end the game in the next turn. Wow. These eights make absolutely no sense here. At this point, I cannot do much. Red will just play their knight and win the game. So, a very easy. Red did not play a knight. Wow. Really surprising there. But I think Red still has a win in hand. Maybe if Red has a monopoly and uh, maybe a road building. Yeah, right. So. Wow, red does not have VPs though. But right, yeah, red will still be able to pull for the win here. Yeah, red is trying his best, but let's see whom the bot targets. Yeah, bot does target red. I think that's the good move. So, yeah, I'll just play my knight. The 5 doesn't do anything actually because, but then it's not like I have much of a choice here either. And I think I'll just go for a, I can go for two dev cards, but I think getting a city might be a little better for me. Now I think just getting two dev cards makes more sense. Especially uh, I have the option of getting either a VP or a Monopoly. I get another Knight which is fine. And now I'll just spend my road so that even if Red wants to block me, Red cannot target me. If he is full of knights, that's actually not a bad thing. So, yeah, playing a knight here doesn't make any sense for me. Hopefully, red rolls a seven. That way, he would have lost five cards. But at this point, I think red will be able to get another VP. Okay, plays a road building. So I think he's just going to go for a settlement and surely might have one VP and win the game. Yeah, and just wins the game there. And I end the game in the third position, but not much that I could have done, I believe. Yeah, eights were very strong. Maybe if I got a city on 8-3, it would have been a little better. But that's how this is uh, sometimes. I mean, yeah, tens also did roll quite a bit, which was very, very strong for red. I'm just wondering if I could have done anything better. Do let me know in the comment section. What do you think? I mean, 
I don't think there was any way for me to get a strong setup. Like in hindsight, just going for 5-4-11 or 3-4-11 would surely have been a mistake. Because 8 did roll quite a lot in this game. And red actually going for 8-10 proved to be the right move for them. Yeah. So let's take a look at the leaderboard. Yeah, badly played from orange. I mean, maybe I should have played my knight. It would have just extended the game by one move, one one round, I believe. So it's not like I could have done a lot differently. So yeah, as I said, I am. In high 1600 is my rating and my rank is still mid 400s, 440. Hopefully I can win a few games and uh, uh, get to the top 100 quickly. Anyway, uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video. Bye bye.